Welcome back to the Sawdust Factory. Today's video we're going to be working on some weed pots. I recently built a table out of barn wood for a customer of mine and I had a few pieces of leftover barn beam. These are cutoffs from a beam that was pretty well rotten but I hate to see it thrown on the burn pile and wasted. So we're going to be turning some weed pot type vases to go along with the table. The table's taking quite a bit of my time and it's really taken me away from a lot of turning. So this will be a chance to incorporate some turning into that project. The first thing to do when you're gonna turn barn wood is to inspect it really well for nails. I've looked through these pieces here and there might be a few very small siding nails, maybe here and there. But every once in a while you'll come across the spot where you have a relatively large nail like that and you don't want to turn those pieces unless you can get the nails out because they really play heck with your tools. So I'm going to get this piece here set up. I'll be using a live center in my tailstock and then we'll uh, determine design wise what we're going to do with it. The grinding does a good job of getting off all the dirt and rotten wood before you start turning. It also helps you if you got any nails you didn't see. Now that we got the nail out, we can go ahead and shape the bottom and top of the weed pot. I'm using my spindle roughing gouge for this. And then I've got my tool rest set a little bit low, so I'm going to move it up. Right about there. Swing, make sure I'm free. Okay, I'm liking that shape for the bottom. It's relatively smooth. I have a little bit of a flat spot where um, I took the nail out. So I'm gonna go sharpen up, give myself a nice burr on the tool, and then we'll come back and uh, take that flat spot out. I forgot to mention something and that's to, uh, to actually drill the hole and make it look like it has any depth at all. We're going to need to put a tenon on this bottom piece 
and I'm just going to use my small chuck for that. We'll be drilling at a relatively low speed, so I don't need a ton of holding force. We'll be doing all the shaping with the spur drive in. So I got my caliper set up for just larger than um, it closed all the way. And I'm going to go ahead and turn a tenon on this side. A little bit of a mistake on my tenon. You can see the gap in between the top of my finger and the base of the tenon. Um, I'm used to cutting tenons for my larger chuck that has a deeper finger on it, so really you want your tenon to uh, seat on the top of the, your chuck finger versus in the bottom of the pocket like this. There's a chance that the bottom of the pocket isn't e exactly even, but for this project it's, it's not terribly critical that it's square. We just need to be able to drill the, uh, the hole in it, so we'll go ahead and tighten it up the rest of the way, clamp it in, and I've got my tailstock up right now to keep it about where it was before. So I'm going to make this count, and I'm going to go with my largest Forstner bit I have, which is an inch and three eighths. So we're gonna have to take this really nice and slow because this wood is super hard, super dry. So it'll wanna catch and burn and I really don't wanna have to cut this off to get the Forstner bit out. And start out nice and slow. What we're going to do next is we're going to drill a smaller hole a little bit deeper. Another three or four inches, whatever we can get out of it. Okay, last thing we're going to do is make some real light cuts on the end of this with a bowl gouge just to break over that edge of the hole. That way it doesn't look like the hole was drilled in the wood. Looks like it was hollowed out. So there we have it, our finished weed pot uh, made from a barn beam. Just think we started with this off cut of a barn beam that probably would end up on the burn pile and came out with something really nice to complement the table. This is the farmhouse table that I've been working on. Just got a few more details left, um, some additional hand sanding, a couple spots to clean up. Uh, I gotta fix my breadboard mistakes I made here and then it'll get a, a coat of finish and go to the customer. So hopefully she likes the, the weed pot to go with it. Um, one quick shout out from the channel, uh, back to Rick. 
at Wood Turning Arts. He's got a really great channel, tons of experience in wood turning, and his skill and talent really shows through in his videos. Very informative. So if you're not already subscribed to Rick, go to his channel, check it out. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe there. Um, he's just got some great pieces he works on and makes. Rick, sorry I haven't gotten a shout out to you sooner. Just been busy with this uh, wonderful piece right here. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and be sure to stay tuned for additional wood turning videos in the future. Thanks for watching.